it's always hard to summarize something big like what we had the last three days. And I struggle with that every time. And uh, I decide I'm going to put it in, in my own voice, in poetry. So uh, here's a poem written in the last 10 minutes. Um, you, you will see the rhymes as they go. What do you do when you turn 21? First thing you know is you need to have a plan. If you listen to Stephanie Kuntz, you should assume it might not be fun. So let's go back and remember how it all began. We opened with Tim O'Reilly, who spoke on the risks to come, being wise, and then we shifted to Stephanie Kuntz on the dangers when we nostalgize. To make the party unique and fresh, we had a DJ Srinivasan Ramesh. Ramesh spoke about technology and means and how we all soon be slaves to machines. And how technology can have a soul and how Silicon Valley owns us all. For the next session, we all came back to learn from Clifford Johnson about the physics of Star Trek. And following when there were many topics to discuss, we went on a ride with Ben on the biobus. Following, Komal reminded us how true it could be to have a lab made just for you, just like Tim O'Reilly's friends or Fu. Immediately after, we learned from Dan how to be thrifty and use tricks for savings when you turn 50. And our coin can be valued more than your kid, and our turtle can delete apps if you don't make your bid. Dmitry Alperovich spoke about cyber warfare and how he changed the world with a t-shirt of a bear. Brian Collins made us connect to our inner child in full before we learned and met the producers of Or Kabul. <laughs> Apartheid in South Africa was discussed by Ibrahim, Rolf, and team in what made us feel the future is not that grim and that our troubles can be solved if we worked across the aisle. Like Abdul said, you can win them all with a smile. Then machines that make music were playing on the stage and the room was smoky, and then we all went out and sang some karaoke. <laughs> Day two began with Eric on power and dialogue and Mia Birdsong on communities, kids and dog. The relationship trio gave us tips on, give us marriage and love tips on the specific orders you should approach the lips. And now you should know to be sweet and humble if you want to increase your chances on Bumble. Asi Burak made some strong claims reminding us the power of playing games. And Mike Norton made us remember the importance of rituals in life and that the worst couples are ones where they are not shared by husband and wife. Daphne here and Patty had a call about whether business schools can be capitalistic and moral. Kevin Asvelt will keep our species alive by killing on other organisms in the world using CRISPR gene drive. Then Sarah Parker made the case to why we should do archaeology from space. And closing the day were Martha Mook and Razel, and nothing else rhymes with Razel. What the hell? <laughs> Into the third day, we embarked with Carl Fussman Adventures, boxing or fighting a shark. Then Marika, Giuseppe, and Eddie spoke about ways that everyone can use their talent and wealth to make the world cure psychology and health. And before we all got to see Dan and Ariely drunk, we were told by Natalia to go watch Shark Tank. And finally, Cindy told us to find our voice and that Oklahoma is okay and that we all have a choice in how to tell our story and how to find a way back and find a way to keep things at check and make sure we keep making the trek to come the next year to play at Optic.